one's a feminist, the other's a weeaboo. So let me tell the difference so I can help you. This is a feminist. This is a weeaboo. Can you tell me the difference? One is a complete total autistic faggot for Chinese cartoons! The other likes Chinese cartoons only when it gets her attention. Oh yeah, I know all about anime, bro. I know all about it. My favorite anime is like Cory in the House. So, uh, are you gonna sign this petition now? You know, to support activism against unicorn abuse? Oh, wait a minute! Those are the same things! That's right, if you're a weeaboo, chances are you're a feminist too. Now, don't get me wrong, some weeaboos might be different, but the majority of them tend to turn out to be attention-seeking whores, and that leads to, you know, an SJW brainwashing, the kind that America so cherishes and loves these days. Answer me this. What do you get when you cross a human being with over 12 years of experience in a childhood spent being told they're special, nine years of trying to delude themselves even further while watching Animu, a desire to be a fedora-tipping autist who thinks they can survive a zombie apocalypse with Tumblr? You get a surefire weeaboo leftist retard. Now these motherfuckers are such a problem that they can literally kill the mood of even other weeaboos. And it just gets worse. You can't go one moment without hearing a Please notice me, senpai. Or even something as creepy as Eh, sugoi! Kawaii desu yo ne! Or even the dreaded Ugu. They're so horrible at being social that no matter what kind of site you go onto, you know, whatever form, the vast majority of them have a shit ton of avatars that are like almost any brand of generic anime female. You can't go one second without seeing like 50 waifu avatars of the most generic women for every two male characters. And half the time the male characters they use are either like shitty wish fulfillment characters with the worst development like Kyoto Issei, obscure almost as generic characters with nothing but perversion for a personality, or something really manly like Jotaro from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Which is great, you know, but half the time you don't even look anything like Jotaro. It's like they can't be bothered to actually work on their own personality, so they have to borrow from others, even though the persona that they borrow from is so horribly stale or generic that it would never get you anywhere, even outside of a romantic relationship. Overall, it's best we just, you know, build a wall. We'll build a wall and we'll send the weeaboos over there, you know? Or better yet, let's just, let's, I know what we'll do. We'll start a Kickstarter! That's right, we'll start a Kickstarter and we'll gather up enough donations to make the world's biggest mother's basement. That's right, we'll gather them up, all those donations, and then we'll build that basement, and we'll gather up the weeaboos, and we'll put them all in there! We'll give them all the weeaboo cancer shit they need! And we'll leave them there to rot. Or, you know, who knows, we'll give them some katanas too so they can just kill themselves if they want to. <laughs> but of course, we're only going to be sending, like, the left-leaning ones, you know? Because we usually don't find weeaboos that are right-leaning. You know, if they're right-leaning, you know, and they support Trump or whatever, or hell, even if, even if they support Bernie Sanders, okay, fine. Whatever. We know he's not going to win. We know he's not going to beat Hillary, so, yeah. But if they love that Hillary, then, or anybody else, then you put them in the fucking ground! You put them deep down into the ground! Like 50 feet under! And what we'll do is we'll just keep them there, in that big mother's basement. So there you go. That is the solution to the weeaboo epidemic. Kickstarter! Anita Sarkeesian can take advantage of it and brainwash a bunch of weeaboos, so we'll do the same thing. Except we're not brainwashing people, we're putting the brainwashed people in their place. This has been Kaiser Trigger, and I'm, uh, cutting off.